You. Hello. How you doing, brother? What's good, man? You said you, you, you just said you're 55 and recently single? Yeah, bro. Tell us about it. What's going on? That's what I look like body-wise. Okay. Not bad. As a 55-year-old, you look, you look better than a lot of these young cats out here, man. My girl, I just... I had a full beard. I shaved it off yesterday. Um, Yeah, man. I was in a relationship seven years, bro. I'm hot. Yo, for 55, he kind of in shape. No cap. 55, you can see some abs. You doing all right. No lie. Heartbroken. Um, shit happened. You know, I think I got, I got, I think I got complacent, just like what you said. Um, I let myself go. Um, I wasn't fully in. You know, I, we were seven years. He has a son not by me, and he became my kid in essence. And uh, anyway, you know what it is, man. Hold on, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm good. So you say she had a kid by you or somebody else? No, someone else. And I came in when the kid was three. You know, we had a relationship long standing, and she ghosted me this year, just er, like two months ago. Ghosted you? Yeah, she, she she just bounced. She just started to fucking change her ways. We were living together. I had listen. I'm um, 2016. I had a bad accident. Okay. And I became, quote, unquote, disabled. I'm getting off of that. I'm going to start getting back to work again and all of that stuff. I bought a house and all of that stuff. But in essence, it separated the relationship. Mm -hmm. And something grew there toxic. She's gone her way. Now I'm in the whole single phase two months. And then recently found out she's already sleeping with another motherfucker. So, excuse me, but with another dude. But it okay. is yeah, see, when women leave you, before they leave you, they already have your replacement lined up. Before a woman going to break up with you, before she really is going to cut you off, she going to have somebody else lined up so that when she bounce on you, she not going to be, you know, thinking about you or worried about she can find somebody else. She already going to have your replacement ready. You feel me? And she's looking for your replacement while y'all together. All right, so while you think everything's sweet, She's fishing for new bait. She's fishing for new fish. You know what I'm saying? And this is another reason why I think men are kind of like reluctant to date single moms because, in my opinion, when you're dealing with a single mom, first of all, a lot of them still love their baby daddy or the father of their kid. They still love that man regardless. And then number two, for the most part, when a single mom's um, dating, they're kind of looking for a man to come in and help them. They're not really looking for, like, love. A lot of times they're looking for a man to come in and fix the situation. And when she done with you, she's going to spit you out. No cap. Hey, hold up. Hold up. That's, that's a lot to unpack. That's a lot to unpack. Hold up. Yeah, brother. Let's, let's revert because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help me give you a, a future path. Okay. So you were with her for seven years. You came in when she already had a kid. Why did you do that? Well, she was already, that was already seven. It was the relationship. She already had the relationship, our relationship. The kid was already, she already had the kid from a previous relationship. So okay. obviously I just stepped in with her and then nurtured. Why did you decide to step in for another man's kid? Um, basically it was my relationship with her. And then I, as we grew in the years, then I, it continued to establish the relationship. She encouraged it. She it was encouraged. Yeah, she was encouraging it, and the kid accepted me and stuff like that and continued to develop our relationship throughout. She didn't encourage anything. She manipulated you. That's it. It's not she encouraged. No, she didn't encourage nothing. You got manipulated. You got played. Checkmate. You got played. Well done by her. Straight up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at right now. What should I do? Could I change some things? So no, help. In order for us to change some things, we got to figure out why you did certain things in the future. Because she played you. She encouraged you to, to take care of a kid that wasn't yours, kept you for as long as possible, and then when she was tired of your ass, she left you. Correct. So let's figure out why it happened. Why did you decide to nurture for a relationship that you knew a kid wasn't yours? What, did she have the kid for, like, was the dude in jail? Why exactly? What happened? At the beginning stages, he's an alcoholic. At the beginning stages, he was in and out of his own rehab. And um, eventually the kid started to 
as a three-year-old, he's now 10, but as yeah. a three-year-old, he started to establish that relationship with me because he didn't have that with his biological. So why, okay, where did you meet her? And you know what's the sad thing about it? Like, if you date a woman who has kids, like, you could tell that he kind of got close to the child. Once she decides to pull the plug on you, that child doesn't belong to you. She can just remove that child out of your life. So that connection you have that child don't matter because it's not yours, straight up. Uh, local. I'm in the Pennsylvania area, local. She actually stepped to me. Actually, let me back up. She is uh -huh. local, but she stepped to me online at the time. Okay. That's okay. It's, it's, everything is coming together. Hold up. She stepped to you online. Yeah. On a dating app. Yeah. Uh, um, on Facebook. She stepped to you on Facebook. She wanted to fuck with you. Yeah. And then you started yeah. giving. She wanted a savior. She was looking for a savior. So we gotta listen, listen. I'm listening to you, brother. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Listen, my rule is this. I got two rules. Number one, online dating is for sex only. There's no serious relationship coming out of online dating. None. Number two, if you meet a woman on Facebook, guarantee you she's on go. Facebook is where the thoughts is at. Facebook is where the thoughts, the bops, the hoes, whatever you want to call it, that's where they at. All right? That's what it's for. Day naps, especially on Facebook, sex only. No serious relationship. You got to figure out what exactly happened so it doesn't happen again and you can be careful moving forward. Right? She stepped up to you on a day nap with a kid. You stepped in thinking you are being a man, nurturing this relationship, and then you say it got toxic? Yeah, eventually, yeah, it kept getting toxic little by little. We had split up before, got back. Why was it and then, toxic? What was going on? She was creating arguments, bro. Like what? It would be dumb shit. It would just, it didn't matter what it was. Like, for example, I'm a very sexual person and stuff like that when I'm in a relationship and stuff. And she was, it was funny because she was literally accusing me of taking B12. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't need that type of stuff for me. You know yeah. what I mean? This is just the type of... This is just how I am. Anyways, um, you know, it, 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 you she saw signs. There were arguments, increased arguments um, that didn't make sense um, out of nowhere. It was starting to refer to old stuff that we had completely moved on from. Mm -hmm. um, shit like that. So it's not like she was... Well, this is for men and women. When you're dating somebody... And if they're starting random arguments with you for no reason, they want out of the relationship. That's it. That they're trying to find a way to get out of the relationship, and they're they're like rebelling against the relationship because they don't want to be there anymore. When the person you're dating, man or woman, starts starting random arguments with you, just starting shit out of nowhere, that's them wanting to pull the plug on the relationship straight up. It's gaslighting you, manipulating you to split up. Correct. I believe so, you know, because we're we're two months deep into it now, and it's 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 basically over. Right. So, so throughout this relationship, you say it got toxic, and then what do you feel like was the final straw that caused everything to go? You say she ghosted you. What 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 was the leap? Like, usually women don't do that unless. But well, wasn't that? Specific. I don't want to say ghost. She she basically started separating. Let me rephrase that. She, she didn't like ghost and then leave. Basically, she was just creating these arguments that were basically almost felt like landmines mm. where it was like this was it was like you're blowing. And I was like, these arguments are being way blown out of proportion. Yeah. So the arguments continued to develop and continue to be like these little landmines that were blowing up severely. And then it, she was pushing me away. So she pushed me away that I said, fuck it. I left her place and then I came back to mine. And so you she, moved in with her. Yeah, we were together. Yeah, because I had had surgery from the from the accident that I had. I had ah. had my last surgery in Feb, in February. Ah. My back and stuff. And then, you know what I mean? She was talking about, oh, you're overweight, this. You're, she, like, at the end, she started to devalue me as a man. Wow. Yeah, it was sick. You moved in with this woman. You never move into a woman's place. Never. I don't know. I don't advise men and women living together. Period. I don't. I, I don't think you should do it. Women should have their own place. A man should have his own place. 
but you never move into a woman's place. If anything, she move into your place, but you never move into her space ever. And then she was gaslighting his ass, talking about, oh, you gaining weight. You starting to look fat. Bro, gaslighting his ass. And he just had surgery. She don't care. His looks was diminishing, and she was like, hell nah. Get up out of there. It's serious, bro. Like, it's bad. It was a bad. It's bad. Like, I feel it. Like, I'm pissed off. I feel like a simp. You know what I mean? I yeah. Just, straight up. That's just how I feel. You know what I mean? I get it. And I, I But now I think what I'm trying to do is learn figure out and then step into whatever ne whatever the future holds because i'm trying to get back full time to work you know what yeah. i mean like i used to do before so that's the only thing you know i own my own home my cars um i try to stay in the gym i ordered some facial products from your lines and stuff like that so from the teague so i'm waiting for that i got self-care done i even got my the things in for my teeth whitening right now my trays in so i <laughs> Okay. So, this so, morning time. So, okay, I'm glad that you're here, bro, and, and you realize this. And and fortunately for you, bro, you look great at, at 55, but we can't make that mistake again. Yep. You can't save her. Yep. You probably heard this saying before. You know what's irritating about this? You 55 calling in. You should have the game on lock, man. You 55. 55 years on the planet, you ain't got no game to see like what was about to happen with this situation. You got to call into a younger dude to tell you about this. That's crazy. That's how I know some men are lost out here. They really are. Don't save her. She doesn't want to be saved. So under no circumstance are you going to be stepping into a woman who already has a kid because that can always happen. She will let you play the role, use you for as long as possible establish something else, and then push you away. That's what she did. Yeah, boo. She waited until she found a, a better option for her and then pushed you away to move on. That is extremely manipulative. That is that is gaslighting at its finest. So you have to put boundaries in the way to make women earn your resources, mm -hmm. earn your validation. Do you, do you want to have a kid of your own? Yeah, I mean, I have a daughter and stuff, so yeah, but even now, I don't mind it. Yeah, so... Moving forward, you're, you're taking 55. You want to have a kid? No, no, pack it up, bro. No more kids for you. You already got a daughter, no kids, bro. No more. You're done. 55. Imagine you have a newborn kid at 55, bro. You ain't gonna get no sleep. You're gonna be dog ass tired. And you had bad surgery. Hell no. Take care of your body. Like you're trying to keep up with your looks. Perfect. But you gotta make, you gotta vet women before you let them into your life. A hot girl, her being beautiful can't be enough. Well, how is she going to add to your life? What baggage does she come with? You don't need no more baggage. If you have baggage and you look good, no thank you. If you're not going to bring the best out of me, no thank you. So set up set up hurdles in front of women's way before they get into your life so you don't waste seven years of your life. All that time you spent nurturing that kid, providing for that kid was a waste of fucking money Facts. and your time. Facts, because I'm by myself now and I can't see him. She won't allow me. Exactly. To so she break, yeah, she broke two hearts. She ain't breaking one. She's breaking even her own son's heart. That's why, I, bro, men, this is why I tell y'all not to get married. This, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. You're going to waste valuable years of your life. Your one shot on this planet, you're going to waste it on something that's not guaranteed. I'd rather you invest your time into yourself. Invest your time into your business, your goals. You invest that time into a 50-50 shot with somebody else, with a female who, you know, they operate off emotions. And one day, if she's not feeling it, she'll pull the plug on it. And that's seven years down the drain. He got close to that kid. And it's not his, so she can just take the kid wherever she want to go. And he's his heart is broken. The kid's probably sad, and she don't give a damn. Because why? She ain't feeling it no more. And that's the sad reality. She don't care. You, used you to raise her kid, and then left you when she felt, felt best need. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video right there. But like I said, fellas, man, really... You got to step your game up. Y'all really got to wake up out here. It's not a joke. 55 years old, you should not be calling in. You should be having the game on lock. But, you know, I think right now a lot of men out here lacking game and knowledge. But until next time, 
It's the weatherman. I'm out. Peace.